Good morning, Disney Springs. It's November 1st, which you know what that means. Christmas is starting now. Credit to Tim Tracker. I will never try to take credit from him. Don't worry. It's about 9.15 or something. We just woke up. Charlotte's first plan is always to get dressed. She's eating chips for breakfast. Let it be known that she already had some fruit and some yogurt. Uh, we don't really have a plan today at Magic Kingdom. We're going to, obviously, the Christmas tree went up overnight. I'm trying to avoid Instagram or TikTok, so I won't see anything. We're going to hang out at Magic Kingdom, and then we're going to go to Disney Springs later uh, for a little bit of a, a, a belated birthday dinner. Uh, our friends Jess and Dave, who you know very well, are going to come and meet us, and it's going to be awesome. So stay tuned. Happy November 1st. Happy November 1st. Official start of the Christmas season. I got my ears on. I have my Baymax Christmas shirt on. I do Good. have a long sleeve, it's a, it's a baseball tee, so it's a three quarter um, from the Halloween, from the Christmas party in 2019 that I wore last year on this day, but um, it is pretty steamy out here today. It's it pretty humid. Yeah. yeah, we're uh, gonna check out the decorations, hopefully ride the people mover. Yep. Really good yeah, hopefully slide. the people mover is actually running today. It wasn't last night, which was very sad. Yeah, same thing happened last year. Yeah. It was down on Halloween. We we're so bummed. Yep. Maybe ride some, maybe go see Philhar Magic. Mm -hmm. Do Jumbo today. Well. We'll see how things are. And we're meeting up with Justin Dave. Yeah, we're meeting up with Justin Dave and we're having we're all having dinner at Boathouse. Boathouse. I never eaten at the Boathouse before. Me neither. I'm super excited about it. Yeah. Me it's, one of, it's one of the top rated restaurants at Disney Springs. Goodbye. So we are going to uh, take the bus to the Magic Kingdom and we will see you there. We're here. We're here and it's Christmas. It is Christmas. Can't wait to see that tree. <laughs> oh no, it's not up yet. Oh, Christmas is gonna be so disappointed. I gotta capture her. <laughs> Where is the tree? The tree is not up yet. It's not up yet. That was yet. a live reveal. This was my live reveal. There's some like hung up fruit over there, and I was like, is it still fall? But I see snowflakes. But no tree. Oh. Oh well. Yeah, you waved You waved too. Chris and I just got really excited because the people mover. Yeah, people mover is moving people. Let's go ride it. Super excited to ride the people mover. And I have mixed feelings about the new narration. We'll see how it is live. We'll see how it is live. Literally, in about three months, you'll have. Whoa! 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 I wasn't planning on taking any video from the people over because I want to do it for ta try to enjoy the new narration. Yeah. yeah. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's just not the same. I miss the old one, but you got to keep those uh, carousels of progress moving, so. So, we're at the Magic Kingdom. Uh, we just did the people mover. Um, I tried to get popcorn over there for our popcorn bucket, but uh, they were out of popcorn. And we're going to go over to Storybook Circus um, and grab some popcorn there. Um, one of my favorite souvenir shops is that Big Top. I think it's called Big Top Souvenirs. I don't know, there's something about it. Like, I don't know if I have like a memory. Uh, we have good memories. On Charlotte's first trip, like, we like bonded with one of the cast members. Anyways, the kids are fighting over the popcorn bucket again, so gotta go. Wasn't too crazy about the new people mover narration, but. I didn't even notice it. I love it. I just love that ride. So I do much. love the ride, the narration, eh, but still my favorite.
I think we're leaving the park right now. We're gonna go to Captain Cook's potentially and eat. Although the idea of eating at Casey's was thrown around too. But we'll see. It's always an adventure. It looks like we're gonna have to eat outside if we go to Casey's. So we're gonna probably end up Casey's. It's hot. It's not just not hot. It's wrong. It's not hot. It's humid. Very humid. Answer the call. There's the uh, parade that's going on right now. So it's probably going to be kind of difficult navigating down Main Street. <laughs> yeah. We try to go through the Emporium. Oh yeah. I think that's a good idea. Always a good idea to go through the Emporium. This for me. service food the Magic Kingdom is not at the Magic Kingdom it's like at the resorts so um, what color it's a 50th we're on a 50th monorail so we're gonna go to Captain Cook's at the Polynesian and we're gonna get some lunch there um, it's really hot out because we were gonna go to Casey's but then like Casey's is basically all outside like really outside. And it's actually super duper hot today like the Sun is hot the Sun is blazing um, as you can tell, we're all sweaty. Yeah, we're gonna go to Captain Cook's and get some cold pork nachos for sure. All right, so um, we went over to Captain Cook's and uh, I think I already talked about the cold pork nachos, but I also got Walt's chili, which is absolutely delicious. Um, and these are just, I think Eric said it the best when he said, Worth leaving the Magic Kingdom. Yeah, these are worth leaving the Magic Kingdom for and coming over here for lunch. And it's just like, it's very nice and peaceful in here. Awesome. They have Dole Whips on site. Yeah, they have Dole Whips here. Captain Cook's is a really fun place. It's the cook service over here, so no reservations needed. And that's like a little outside area if you want to sit outside. All right. We're at Disney Springs now, and um, we have a dining reservation at 7 at Boathouse, and I think we're just going to poke around. Um, we just checked out Shigaboo um, and the Fit to Run store. So I'll do a little wayfinding, uh, as Tim Tracker calls it. So there's Saratoga Springs across the water there, and our room is like right there. So we're across the way at Disney Springs, just enjoying the scenery. I absolutely love Disney Springs. It's just, it's so relaxing and there's just like a really good vibe here. But yeah, there's the boathouse right there. Maria and Enzo's. And there used to be a boat, um, there used to be a boat dock. Well, there still is a boat dock right there, but um, they still haven't come back there. Oh, and there's an Amphicar right there. So cool. So I just went into Salt and Straw and I tried all the ones that you probably wouldn't try uh, unless you're an adventurous eater. So um, I got the green fennel and maple, which isn't on the list, but it was one of those specials. The olive oil one was pretty good, uh, but Salt and Straw, um, I had 
Jerome as a server and he was absolutely fantastic. He talked me through all the different flavors, told me his favorites, and uh, it was just, honestly, it was really great. So, highly recommend Salt and Straw when you come down to Disney Springs. So, this is where Sportsville is. This is where the good margaritas are. There is a bar on the side over there, but this one's better. And then you got Everglades right there. Our favorite place. Always cool to see an apple car so launch. Cool. Um, we've so never actually cool. done it, but uh, I know it's something that Kristen wants to do. Want to so, do it so maybe at some point Someday. we'll do that. Um, but we are eating at the boathouse tonight, so we will be back. <laughs> we went. Uh, Eric and uh, Charlotte and I went to, into Walt Disney, and um, uh, they had some of the Christmas stuff out, and. This. this is Eric's like it's three things that you love it's Walt Disney World it's Christmas it's Starbucks and it's got the Walt Disney World on the back so let's hope I can take care of this uh, I'm gonna treat this one with the utmost respect because uh, I've broken a few We're here at the boathouse. Of course, I had to get the duck duck raz. Jess got the duck duck raz too. Yes. Dave got the Christmas old fashioned. Joan got a hot pina colada. Cheers. Cheers. What's up? Okay. And uh, Eric got the Christmas old fashioned as well. And um, Christmas in a glass. Christmas in a glass. Kids got waters and uh, hey, Char. And um, we got, what did you end You ended up getting the shrimp, right? The shrimp and the salad. Just be careful. Nice. I did. Thank you. I love a good wedge. Enjoy. Thanks. Okay. Drive safe for me. Drive safe, Charlotte. Oh my goodness! Vroom vroom! Oh my gosh, this is awesome! <laughs> Whoa! Crab cake? Yum! What a great night at Disney Springs at Boathouse. The food was so super good. The bread was delicious. Everyone always like talks about the bread, and, um, but it was so so good. And I loved that duck duck raz. That was really really fun. I feel like um, I see everybody on the Disney Day Drinkers um, group on Facebook talking about it. Shout out to the shout out to the Disney Day Drinkers on Facebook. Definitely the best Disney Facebook group around. Tomorrow we have something so fun planned. Um, I can't wait. I can't wait to share it with you guys. Thanks for watching as always. If you like what we have, if you like this vlog, come back next week. We do these vlogs every week. Subscribe. Ring the bell button. That's what Charlotte would say, but she's sleeping. Homegirl was spent. 
today. Both of them. Both of them. Totally tired. Exhausted. Do all that stuff. Like, leave a comment. Uh, and we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.